Bon B, Pimp C, Master P were my they they became my mom they became my mom. They became my dad. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. And that's what people don't understand. I love the wha- the fact that you know people we go through stuff, bro. Yeah. That's a that's a part of the the, the whole the journey, grind. bro. The grind. That's the journey. Yeah. Like people think because some strange happen, mm-hmm. that stuff gonna happen, bro. Nah. Go ahead. So um, but get after thirteen, and what helped you to get through school? Because it seemed like you were you know zoned out during that time at 13 so what brought you back into reality so to say while you were in school music music master p bon b i was listening to these cats when i'm in high school wow i you know i i have my little 93 94 (laughs) 95 that shit was hard boy yeah it was coming my putt putt i didn't know even know what an a&r was Mm -hmm. but i was that for master p i was that for bon b yeah, yeah. I didn't know that later on in life I was going to be running the situations, the companies, the handling the, the applications behind, you know, right. the situations. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, here wow. we go today. So that helps you. 93. Yeah. No, they, they, man, Bon B, Pimp C, Master P were my, they, they became my mom. They became my mom. They became my dad. You know what mm. I'm saying? Wow, that's uh, what raised you. That's, that's yeah. why you, me and you jive, because that music, boy, is serious. <laughs> and them 90s. And still of the day, yeah. They were different. I love them. How old were you when you finally got to meet them? Uh, I mean, around the same. I don't, I don't really remember the age. I just remember that I was happy that Webby and Pimp C were bonding. And, you know, I got time to chill with Mama right. West and right. get some so, business clear. <gasps> You know? So okay, and and I, we kind of moving fast. Yeah. Um, when I think about just because y'all did this at an early age, how old was what was? Because Webby and Boosie met Pimp at the same time, mm-hmm. or did it right? Yeah. Okay, and and at, when they met him, when they met them, y'all was how? I mean, I'm, he don't I'm, remember. I'm five no, you, years old. What we about? They 16, was young. 17. Mm-hmm. 16, 17 years old. So I, you know, like so I said, you were I was about just, 20, 21. Yeah, I was about 20, 21. And you basically That's did you I understand quit my job. What was I quit going my on? job at 21. You did? Mm-hmm. I quit my job at 21. That's hard. And um, a club owner in Baton Rouge, uh, Mr. Jazz, we still tight. Like, uh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me the opportunity that I I wanted. You know, I quit my job and I went to him. Look, look, bro, I don't have the monies. I'm not getting paid on the road, but I am who I am, and I got the following. And he gave me a chance. He was like, "Look, you can come to my club and you can do what you want to do. You know, bring your DJ, pay for your own security and things of that nature, and do your thing." And we still going strong to today. Wow. I, you know. But but the thing I want to understand is, I, I I came fast forward through the point of how this transition with with Boosie and Webby and you say you met Mama West during the same time. Mm-hmm. How did y'all? What was the business like? And and we don't have to go into much detail, but she was the business. She would deal with business for them. Was yeah. were they when you for your recollection were they signing to Pimp or were they? What was it? Was it a signing situation or was well, it just it was, an introduction situation? It was a, they were affiliated for sure, definitely. And again, me, you know, when we, when I heard Webby rap, I don't need to rap. I'm gonna go to the business, bro. So that that's another thing. When you heard, because I'm gonna tell you something, that nigga don't stop. <laughs> You okay, when you heard this nigga rap is in my cars, in my clothes, and make these hoes on so First of all, when did you first hear this nigga rap? I heard Webby rap at home, Monticello Boulevard. He um he did a rap over uh Jay Z beat. I forgot what it was and I'm like, God damn and then I call up my partner. My partner he was doing beats for true. True Records. Okay. Mm-hmm. T-R-U. 
Pimp. Yeah. Yeah. Your Master P. Master P. Uh, 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 yeah, Tucson. first. Yeah. Tucson. Shout out to Tucson. And I said, Two, I need you to do a, a, a fucking um, a mixtape for Webby to present to Trill Entertainment. But by that time, Webby had already went into Trill Entertainment. And just, I'm telling you, he was a monster on the mic. So he mm. went into Trill Entertainment. Hey, hey, hey. And I'm like, all right, well, we good. You know what I'm saying? But I still produced the mixtape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You already, you knew you had to do something with it. Yeah. Nah, but um, nah, Webby, Webby have it. He still got it. You know, um, I had a guy by the name of Trill Talk No Pill Talk. And I want to say that he didn't, I don't know if he felt like Webby could still do it. Can he still do it? Webby. And matter of fact, he supposed I, to come up here in a few hours. I, I'm glad I said that. It made me think about it. It's my boy. He, I, can I, he still do it? I hate to brag on my brother, my um, artist, but Webby a dog, man. I swear, I, I done went to studio after studio after studio after studio, and I ain't count not one verse that was whack. He you ain't playing no game. I knew he was going in there to give him that work. You hear me? Really? Like, <laughs> bro, when you were, where did that cadence come from to where it just don't stop? And I'm going to get to talk to him one day, but I know I'm going to get the answer from you because you <laughs> you was in there. You had to be. It seemed like the verse never ends. Red truck, blue truck, green truck, black truck, suburban excursion, that tie off that lack truck. Man. Did you hear what I'm saying? Fuck it, a bucket, a delta, a cutlass, a riga, a monte, whatever you thug it. We played ball. We played the women, you know, and, and not on a bad tip. You know, we, we I still got women that I deal with that, that love me. Like, because I'm I'm coming at my, on on a business tip, you know. Dallas, New York, wherever, you know, again, so I pimp the business side of this situation when Webby pimped the mic. It's souped up, it's souped up, it fold down with gray sound when summer hit, you gotta keep the roof up. And and that's crazy too, because I was asking you about how how come how come he don't never stop? He, he don't run out of rhymes. Stay up with your crew and talk stupid till y'all get sleepy. Holly about y'all gonna blues me and do me up when y'all see it. When he rhyming, you think he gonna get to a part where he gonna hook it or run a chorus? It don't never come. Man. That's what I loved about this nigga, man. That what made him different. You know what I'm saying? So I can imagine how he was doing on that mic because he just keep going, bruh. And, and, and I'm a big fan of that nigga, man, when it comes down to this music. You know what Same I'm saying? Man. So I've tripped out, really, because when it first happened, and I ain't trying to over-talk you, but Boosie didn't come in like Webby came in. Boosie came in a little bit behind it, like, mm -hmm. like Webby came first. Am I tripping, or did it seem that way? I bought the CD from over that T-Town music, right? They and I was trying to figure out, like, I bought Boosie's, but when Webb is hit, it wasn't nothing like it. Now, Boosie might have had some mixtapes out first or something. I'm telling you. We was on another side of the the, the, the world. North, Boosie was on the south. Okay. Again, I'm five years older than Webb. We we on the basketball court. We we on the football field. I'm blocking for him. We, you know. Y'all doing other things other than the music. It's the same thing. So, you know, Webby, Webby goes hard. For sure. I'm talking now, you know, two days ago, before I came here in the studio, you know what I'm saying? He still got it. Don't don't get it twisted. He ain't drop. It's quality over quantity, bro, for, yeah. for one. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to drop all this. A hit is a hit. It's going to last forever. You know what I'm saying? We are still doing shows off Savage One. I know. So I... He can do shows on Savage One, Two, and then some of the other and, stuff and, he dropped in between or, or at the end. He still he can do any of that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.